kids playing outside in the dangerous heat. We asked the experts what to do to help keep the children safe. Welcome back here. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. You know it's important to check on the elderly and your pets during this oppressive heat, but don't forget to keep an eye out on your kids as well. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more now from Wagner Pool in East Harlem. The Parks Department has extended city pool hours until 8 p.m. tonight, of course, weather pending for all Olympic-sized and intermediate-sized swimming pools due to that heat advisory. We also talk with a doctor to see what you should be doing with your children in this heat. The pool is the obvious way to beat the heat on a day like today. It was hot when I first came here, but it's cool. It's really, really hot. Really, any form of cold water will do. Campers have swim during the day, but they also have water slides. We have the sprinklers on on our field as well. At Asphalt Green Summer Day Camp on the east side, the extreme heat means a modified schedule. We have a heavily indoor schedule or areas that utilize our outdoor spaces that are in shade. We have water coolers everywhere you look, and hey, all of our um, coaches and specialists will take time during the activity to say, okay, stop, we're going to go and have some water uh, because it's easy to forget. Did you drink water today? Yeah. How much? A lot. Four-year-old Lily stayed cool at camp. Her mom says she hesitated only momentarily about sending her in this heat. I wasn't that worried about it, although I did stop and think about it for a minute today. Kids are really good at, at withstanding higher temperatures than adults. But Dr. Eric Choi Pena, director of global health at Northwell Health, says they're not usually good about letting you know they need water or are too hot. So just like the camp does, he suggests scheduling water breaks and cooling off breaks. And when you see a child starting to get redder, it's because they're uh, they're trying to cool off. And that's a sign that they need to get out of that environment. Signs of heat exhaustion include lethargic or acting sleepy at a time when it's not their nap time, acting confused, difficulty walking, so stumbling around. As for complaints about the extreme temps, 10-year-old James says at least the sun is out. This summer has been like really rainy. Some other tips, the CDC says dress your children in light, loose fitting clothing. Also, do not leave your child in a parked car even if the windows are rolled down. Make sure they're hydrated, but stay away from drinks that are too cold and too sugary. In East Harlem, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. All right, Alice, thank you.